guys and welcome to my apartment in France. It still seems really weird to say out loud. It's kind of unusual for me to be doing a vlog like this, like an actual daily vlog style, but that's because I left my camera and my tripod in the United States and I'll be getting them and bringing them back next month. But for now, I just kind of wanted to show you guys where I am and talk about what's happening and the transition and all that stuff. For those of you who have been asking, I am living in Paris, France. That's the place. I don't think I said that actually in my announcement a couple weeks ago, <laughs> surprisingly. But yes, I am in Paris, in the main city of France, where everything is, including all of the traffic and the noise. <laughs> so yeah, this is my apartment in Paris that I share with my special someone, and that's most of his stuff there as well. <laughs> I haven't really fully unpacked all my stuff, and I'm also gonna bring back a lot more things next month, because I'm going back to the US for a little while. So then when I come back, I get a second chance to try and pack my life in checked bags. So to kind of fill you guys in a little bit, um, I came here last week, I tried to fit everything that I needed to bring in one check bag and one carry-on and I took a budget flight so the weight limits were even lower than normal so I can't even tell you how many times I filled up my suitcase I went and stood on the scale didn't work it was too heavy had to go back take stuff out I can't even begin to describe the horror of that experience but I managed and another not so great thing about taking a cheap flight overseas is that the layovers were so long I had my longest layover in my life which was nearly 12 hours and about seven of those I had to spend outside of security because I had to recheck my baggage so I really couldn't fit in any of the shops or do anything really that fun so I just kind of sat there and used the Wi-Fi thank god there was Wi-Fi and about two days later I finally arrived in Paris and here I am I've been here several times most of you guys know that but I've never really taken the metro by myself until now in the past week or so and obviously I'm gonna be taking it a lot more in the future and there's a lot to learn let's face it I've taken the London tube several times by myself and with other people so I'm kind of familiar with how city metros work but it's still gonna be a little different and I'm still trying to figure out my line and my location of my home and stuff like that and you know just <laughs> not getting lost would be preferable I've put posters up on the walls that you guys can see I've kind of marked my my space with my Shakespeare in England posters and I will show you the kitchen. The apartment has two rooms so it's pretty small. Of course a bathroom too but I'm not gonna show you guys that. That's boring. Here is the kitchen and this right over here is the wall where I'm probably gonna end up doing my vlogs like my normal sit down vlogs. I'm gonna get my posters which are still in the United States but I'll bring them back and I think I'm just gonna decorate down here. This poster I'm not sure you guys have seen before. I've had it since I lived in England but it's one of my favorite posters and it's never been in a vlog background that I know of. And hopefully the kitchen area looks pretty clean. I've been trying to keep it pretty neat, but this is where I'm gonna be cooking. If you remember my video from a few years ago, you probably know that I am not the greatest at cooking or baking or any of that, but I've gotten a lot better actually since living by myself. And I'm really excited because this is a really nice kitchen. Like this is unusual to find in Paris. This kind of countertop and space and everything and having an oven, that's actually pretty rare in Paris to be honest. A lot of the apartments that we looked at before did not have nearly such a nice kitchen. And of course I got a French press over here, so I'm all set as far as coffee is concerned. So yeah, that's pretty much the apartment. This is why I didn't choose to do an apartment tour kind of officially, because a lot of people do some pretty cool apartment tours when they move into a new place. But honestly, <laughs> this place is not that big, so I don't really think it would make that fascinating of an apartment tour. Once I kind of figure out better what I'm doing here and how everything works and I'll find some, you know, cafes that are cool spots that I like to go to and places to hang out, parks to walk in and run in and things like that. And I'm really looking forward to it. I really am enjoying the city vibe. It's a little noisy. Honestly, I, it kept me awake the first couple of nights because the window's not very thick and the heat doesn't work yet, which is a little bit of a bummer because it's much colder here than it was in the Midwest, but I'm still loving it. And I'll love it a lot more when I have Wi-Fi and working heat. I already can sleep with the noise, so clearly I'm meant to live in the city, right? As far as my progress in French, which some of you guys have asked me about, I'm definitely not fluent yet. I don't understand everything that's going on around me. I still do have to use, you know, translators and stuff for certain vocabulary, like grocery shopping and appliance shopping and stuff like that. I've had to Google some things, definitely. But overall, I definitely feel like I have a good enough level to be here, and I'm really excited to see the next couple of months because I feel like being around it all the time and practicing and just being here is gonna make a huge difference in my pace of learning and everything. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little update video in this style. I don't really do it that often, but if you guys enjoy it, then maybe I can do some more kind of similar to that in the future. I'm loving it here. I'm having an awesome time. I cannot wait to tell you guys more and to do some vlogs, even 
even like my normal style, just sit down vlogs about stuff that's happening and kind of, I guess just this is experience and transition. Definitely follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you're curious more about my day-to-day -day types of stuff. I will be updating Instagram stories probably quite a bit. I think that about wraps this vlog up. Next time you guys see me on YouTube, I might be back in my old setup in the US because I have to go back there for several, several reasons, including paperwork and my sister's wedding and just a bunch of really big stuff that's happening. So you might see me in a normal setup, don't freak out. I still live in Paris, I just am back in the US for a little bit. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you soon.